so every single morning when I wake up, I go and have a cold shower just to feel awake and ready for the day. And then I make my husband and I some coffee. Jordan also really likes to have toast with our morning devotions like morning devotions we have a morning quiet time where we read our bibles and have prayer time and everything so we usually have coffee over that but first it's greens greens powder greens powder comes first yeah all right remember that <laughs> i apologize for the lack of light by the way i do not like to listen to this it's a good sign it means it's the morning coffee machine turning on i really don't like putting my eyes under too much like light pressure in the mornings so i like to have just a little bit of light on and because the sun hasn't fully come up yet it's about to <laughs> oh yes vitality this is the sunshine pineapple one i am obsessed i love it mm. and jordan loves it too don't you babe mm -mm. so we have after a bit of research, decided to keep our mornings, our like early mornings caffeine free when we first wake up. So we have our decaf coffee, we have a nice read. She's off babe. My back, relax. Going on a cute little morning walk before the gym. The beach is looking beautiful. Not as beautiful as my bay, but you know, <laughs> so nice. Oh, it's on us. Hello. Jordan has been doing a competition with his friends. It's called like from trash to treasure. They're starting off with nothing and they have to get something for free and then like sell it for something and then they can use that money to like buy other things and then sell it. And it's like a one week competition. Anyway, Jordan's been working hard on it for the past few days. It's like a one week competition. This was his most recent thing here. It's a free is washing it? machine that he just picked up and he'll do it up and sell it tomorrow. This is the most cutest thing ever. Jordan just did up this really old, what's this called? Unit. Uh, coffee table. <laughs> coffee table. <laughs> he just did up this really old coffee table and now looks so nice and he's done the drawers as well and put little cute little knobs on there. I don't even know what they're called either. Nope. Cute. Knobs. Knob you. So with my nighttime routine, I like to, okay, my aim my ideal team would be to be in bed by 8 p.m. and then read for half an hour and go to sleep at 8.30 because then I wake up at 4.10. But, you know, life happens. I hardly ever get to bed right on time. So it's currently 8.38. So I might have 20 minutes reading and then go to sleep at 9. So then at least I get like 7, just over 7 hours sleep. So currently, <laughs> funny story, but we're sleeping in our caravan. We bought a caravan. It's really, really cute. I'll show you. Hang on. So it is such a cute little caravan it's actually like a decent size i'm a really 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 light sleeper so i cannot sleep underneath the house because we're currently living in a house that jordan and his dad have went halves in an investment property and they're renovating the home and we're living underneath his whole family like all of his siblings 
it's just very loud and they live on a different time routine than me um so they stay up late and then get up later whereas I like to go to bed early and then get up early and so I was literally getting like a few hours sleep when I was actually living in our bedroom like in our like mini house kind of thing that's underneath the main house so now I sleep in this caravan and so does Jordan he'll be coming to bed soon and yeah I actually get really good quality sleep and it's amazing I really aim to get good quality sleep before midnight so if I can get like at least three hours of good quality sleep before midnight I feel amazing but if I was to say get to bed at 12 and then have a few hours sleep after midnight nah it's just not going to cut it <laughs> it's actually proven that's the thing so it makes sense for us to go to sleep when the sun's down and then wake up when the sun's getting up you know kind of just makes sense I feel like it's in our makeup all right I'm going to bed I'm going to read my book I'm currently reading it's called men are from mars women are from venus it's actually such a good book because this year one of my aims is to uh, like develop healthy relationships and like focus on making my relationships more healthy and so obviously like the most important relationship in my life is between my husband and myself um so I really want to like understand him more and like be better at communicating with him and just you know just so we can live life better I just want to live the best life ever and I feel very grateful and very blessed that I have an amazing husband obviously we still have like you know like arguments and like all that kind of stuff and we're only what well, been married for like a year and a half it hasn't been very long but I feel like we're just learning so much. We're making a lot of mistakes and then learning so much from them and showing grace to each other and enjoying the process, enjoying the journey because that's what life is about, you know? So, yeah, I'm excited to learn more and more about how to, like, love him better, how to understand him better, uh, especially when it comes to, like, the differences between males and females. Like, it's so interesting. And when you know them, like, you can – be more understanding and more patient and more forgiving and more gracious you know what I mean anyway all right I just I just also really wanted to say in case there's any other people who are really light sleepers out there like me I actually got these things one of my friends recommended them to me they're called happy ears and they're like these weird little earplugs that are like reusable for I don't know how long they say that they're reusable for but Anyways, you literally just stick them in your ears and it blocks out so much. Like right now the aircon's on and then when I put the thing in my ear, I'm like, it's like blocked out so much of that sound. And so I've been finding that I am sleeping so well. So I always have these next to my bed and I put them in and then go to sleep. And they're uncomfortable, they don't fall out. They're just like, I mean, I think I just said they're uncomfortable. What I was meant to say was they're comfortable and they don't fall out. It's amazing. And then next to my bed, I have my thermometer sitting there. So I use the Natural Cycles app uh, for contraception and just like knowing my cycle, like learning about my cycle. And I love it. So I take my temperature. So as soon as I wake up, my alarm goes off. I put this in my mouth, press the button. It beeps for me. I take my temperature. I record it on my app and I start my day. So... That is my routine. Sit that down there. All right, I'm actually leaving now. Bye. Like if you store it on the bench top, you probably need to feed it like every couple of days. So probably once I have kids and I make it more often, I'll do that. But for now, it works out well. Only having to feed it once a week from the fridge, which is how often I usually use it anyway. And then I just stir this together. I probably should get a bigger thing. <laughs> so funny. Ugh. So I'm doing this early in the morning before I even make our coffee and toast and stuff so that it can get nice and ready for me to mix everything in and like actually make the bread and let it sit like all day, do all the little mixes throughout the day. Uh, it sounds really confusing and sourdough can be kind of overwhelming, but I found the most simple recipe that I absolutely love. Works well. Voila. This is what my babe does here at the gym. Oh, look at him working out those guns. What are you up to now, babe? What so way? Look, if you want to look like me, you know, with the dream physique, you want to go lots of white weights and lots of reps. <laughs> it's 102. <laughs> 
So my sourdough starter is ready. It's all like bubbly now, which is good. And so I found the best and easiest sourdough recipe. I'll make sure that I link it in the comments so that you guys can try it out if you're keen. It's so easy because a lot of the other ones I've tried required so much like time, effort, and energy. And man, it was just an effort. I was like, is this really worth me saving seven bucks on a loaf of sourdough? Probably not. But this version is, and it just feels good knowing that I'm making it myself. So all I literally have to do is mix all the ingredients together in like a big bowl. And then I let it sit there for an hour untouched. And then every 30 minutes for five or six times, I just have to do this like stretching technique, which takes like 10 seconds. It's super quick. And I get a nice tasting sourdough for my babe's brekkie. I'm just making some homemade pies here. Every single day I spend time in the kitchen because I love it. So I'm preparing food, whether it's pies, my babe loves them every single morning for brekkie, or whether it's like coating chicken or marinating meat, whatever it is, I absolutely love spending time in the kitchen every single day. And another thing I love to do is go for runs. I'm starting now. I'm starting now. And we'll see how I go. I'm gonna, oh, I haven't pressed start on my watch yet. It doesn't count if my walk doesn't, if my watch doesn't track it. Here's the river that's right near my house. It's so beautiful. I love it. Anyway, I'm now on my way back. So I'm past halfway. Woo! Here's the river in the background, running across the bridge. So pretty. Guys, I'm actually sweating so much. Like, to be honest, I'm not much of a sweater when it comes to running. I think it's because it's just so second nature to me. But when it's this hot and humid, I start to drip. Gross eyes. Anyways, I've got like 10 meters to go. That is my 6Ks done and dusted. I have some more editing of content to do for Instagram. And then I'll be able to do an ice plunge. Maybe I'll do my ice bath before I do the editing stuff because I'm a sweaty mess, I'm gross. Uh, that will cool me down completely. That's nice, jumping in there after a run. Still would be hard. I literally lasted a minute and a half yesterday. It sucked, it was a bad attempt. Usually I'm really, really good, and I can do like, well, when I say really good, I do three minutes and it's about three degrees or so. Yesterday it was six degrees because we'd not long turned it back on since coming back from Victoria for Christmas and New Year's. And it was sitting at six yesterday and I could only do a minute 30. Like I was actually hurting. So it might take me a little bit to get back into it, but all is good. Uh, I have my routine and I'm doing it every day. So let's go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this section of my video when you run 6K with me. <laughs> Bye. We're all about healthy habits here in the Gilly household. So, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, I got you. Oh yeah, I look at my babe in the cold plunge. All, all of my bald hair in there. Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky I got clothes on this time, honey. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that cold plunge. <sighs> Why do you cold plunge, babe? I just get really hot here on the Sunshine Coast. <laughs> and this cools me down, gets me back out there. Nah, uh, I love cold plunging because mentally it's just so hard getting in. But when we push ourselves to do things that are hard... It is so rewarding. So getting out after and just having that natural hit of dopamine is so good. So if I'm ever having a bit of a crappy day, I jump in here. I'm a different man when I get out. It's so good. Just yeah. ask Raya. Yeah, ask me. <laughs> so I'm just about to get my lashes redone after the Christmas break. There's like hardly any there. So I'm at Balanco. Gonna go get them done. Hi. Oh, where are you? <laughs> Hi, oh, I'm excited. Wow. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. 